Gary Morecambe this Friday. Um, just reflecting back on on Saturday, a naturally disappointing result, um, and I'm sure you probably saw Pierce Sweeney's comments about the team needing to, to grow up and, and, and take accountability for, for results like that. What did you what did you make of Sweeney's comments? Because he was quite passionate in what he said. Yeah, and that, that's what I'd expect. You know, nobody likes losing football matches, and uh, for Sweeney to come out and say that, great. Uh, I think the good thing uh, we have seen uh, during the week is a reaction. Uh, we had a good discussion on uh, Monday morning. Uh, we went through everything and we were pretty clear on how we wanted this week to work and the players have responded. The intensity, the the volume uh, at the training ground has been ranked up a notch or two this week. Uh, and that's what I want to see. Uh, a, a group of players that hurt when they lose football matches and do something about it. And I think the process we've been on, the, the changes that are that are happening, uh, it's never going to be a, a straight line to, to success. It's going to be, uh, there's going to be bumps in the road and, and Saturday w without doubt was a bump, but I've seen a reaction and, and I want to see a re reaction on Friday night when the game starts as well. We just spoke to Jake Caprice and he mentioned, you know, the players have all seen who Oxford got in the, in the third round and that, that hurt a little bit more, but you know, it's left them with a desire to put things right. Um, and, and like you said, you, you've, see, you've certainly seen a reaction this week in training and you expect to see one on Friday. Yeah, like, you know, the, you, you're going to lose football matches that as, as part of the game and, and it's how you react to that. And like I said, we have had a lot of changes at this football club uh, and then the last few weeks not just myself but other roles within the club are changing so for the players we have to support them throughout that process there, there will be bumps in the road and after those bumps we need a reaction and uh, I've seen it in training and I have to see it in the game uh, and like I said the players comments give me heart and the players reaction to it in training give me heart that, that we're going to see that on Friday night. We're making a gradual journey up to Morecambe for the game on Friday. I think you're leaving tomorrow. It's, it's certainly adjusted the schedule a little bit with the game being on the Friday, but I think it's important in terms of players' fitness and, and recovery times and things that, that we make that journey gradually with, with stop-offs and training on the way. Yeah, we'll train tomorrow and prepare as normal, match day minus one, and then we'll travel up and we'll have, I think, having that time together is really important. So to go in the game, it's a match day, there's that tension and anxiety that, that everyone has on, on the day of a, a game, I think, to go uh, tomorrow will give us the the time to spend together and get to know each other and build relationships within the staff, within the players. Uh, so we'll, we'll do something on Friday morning to get the players out and, and kind of not just kill time, but kill time for them in terms of that preparation, but also spend time with them and uh, be together so that on, on Friday night we have, you know, not only prepared for the game but we've built those relationships and connections amongst the, the whole group. Morecambe uh, find themselves 23rd in the league but they've had a lot of draws this season so they're certainly a tough team to break down and you've seen that some of the bigger teams in this league have been to Morecambe and found it hard to, to, to break them down. What do you expect from them or is it exactly what I've just said? Yeah difficult game. Uh, I actually worked uh, individually with one of the players early season, uh, Donald Love, a player that I, I signed for uh, for Wigan on loan and I was doing a lot of work with him individually so I seen about four or five games live and I seen all of their games I had watched back to, to help him uh, so I know the team very well I think what I've watched in preparation for the game on Friday is a, a much improved team than from that team I've seen early season they have added some players especially in midfield of quality I think they have a, a clear structure to how they want to play and how they see themselves winning games uh, so we're fully prepared for that and uh, like I said the team is, is ready to go there and give a better performance but also go there and win. Managed by fellow countryman Derek Adams, is he someone that you've come across in your career or worked with at all? I, I know him, I don't know him that well but I've, I've, I've met him a few times and uh, it's always nice to meet another Scotsman. Um, with the game being on the Friday, it, it gives us that extra day of recovery really. I know we spent travelling back but how important is that you know an eight day gap between games yeah i think i always say after games recovery is very important because the way we are training now there's there is an intensity uh, every day in training there's different intensities but we have to recover first from the games before we can then go into that period of of working the players so uh it will give us that opportunity to to have the weekend off and have a full week's 
training and preparation for for Sheffield Wednesday. So uh, I, I don't think the games when it, when it comes it really matters. We we prepare as we would and we adjust the, the schedule accordingly. So uh, we will be ready come kick off and then we'll have that time to recover. In terms of squad uh, availability and injury, Stano obviously picked up I think a shoulder or arm injury at the end of Oxford. Is is he okay? Stano's fine. Yeah, everyone. Uh, that has kind of been in the squads recently has trained fully this week so uh, no further injury worries which is, is good.